All of your measurements are completely dependent upon the size cabinet that you're working with, but just to give you some ballpark numbers here, I'm using about eight feet of one by two material on this project, a small scrap piece of three quarter inch plywood for the base, and one pack of these Euro slide drawer slides. Use a square to make reference lines on the bottom of the cabinet to represent the exact size opening that you have. Cut two pieces of one by two to the depth of your cabinet and pre-drill for screws with the boards standing on their short edge. Align these boards on the reference line that you made previously and screw them down with at least two inch long screws. Using a pen or pencil to keep the drawer slide off the base of the cabinet, mark and pre-drill for at least three screws per side. I just cut all four of the perimeter pieces for my tray. Now the front pieces are one inch less than the width of this opening because each individual drawer slide takes up one half of an inch. As far as the depth, that's completely up to you, but to maximize space, I take the total depth of this bottom shelf, which in this case is 20 and one quarter of an inch, and I subtract one and three quarters of an inch from that, which in this case also is 18 and a half inches for this particular length. Now that I have everything laid out, I can measure the interior space to find the size of my panel that I need. The one by two edges will be attached to the side of the plywood to cover up the plywood edges. I'm just using wood glue and brad nails to assemble this, starting with the long sides. Finally, you can add the other half of the drawer slides. Now, the rolling side, the side with the roller on it, it goes to the back of the tray, and the other side is flush with the front of the tray. This is a very quick, easy, and inexpensive storage accessory solution that pretty much anybody can make with just a simple circular saw. I used my table saw and some other tools that I had, but technically speaking, every cut in this project you can make with a circular saw. My approximate cost per tray for this size tray is about $10. Now you can get crazy with materials and different type of drawer slides and it can get pretty expensive for some heavy duty applications, but for something that's going in, in a bathroom vanity, this will do the job just fine. If you found this video useful, I'd love to have you share it so others can do so as well. Thanks for watching folks and have a great day.